You ever had this? I do. Almost every single winter. Now it's my belief that this is not the pivot creaking, but instead it's the rubber seal inside the master cylinder squeaking against the side of the bore because there's water content in there. And it comes every winter because of all the rain that I ride in. And when I change the clutch fluid, it eradicates it and it disappears. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. Change the clutch fluid, that will flush out the water content in the system and it won't squeak anymore. Okay, the first part of any clutch fluid change is take the cap off and suck the old fluid out. But before I do that, I'm gonna level the master cylinder itself by simply turning the bars to the right. And that works on the side stand or on the main stand. If you turn your bars to right hand lock, you'll see that the master cylinder itself sits almost dead level with the floor. And that's handy because when you take the cap off, it won't spill out. Now that doesn't look dirty, but it doesn't mean it's not waterlogged. I've got the service file for this bike. I've had it six months. And in that service file, it says that roughly nine months ago, it had the front and rear brake fluids changed. There's a Harley Davidson factory dealer invoice for 130 pounds for the privilege of changing the front and rear brake fluids. But the clutch fluid, no such invoice. So there's no evidence in the service file that this clutch fluid has ever been changed. And looking at the water condensation droplets on that little rubber diaphragm, I reckon that's definitely the original factory clutch fluid. So let's change it. Right now on Harley Davidson touring bikes, to get access to the slave cylinder, it lives under this cover on the right hand side of the gearbox. It's held on with two screws. So you take them off, carefully lift the cover out and you get full access to your slave cylinder. Right, here's a little bit of proof. These two screws have got the white dusty thread lock on them from the factory. If these had been taken out and refitted after a clutch fluid change, they would have blue thread lock on them because that's what I've seen Harley technicians do over and over again. They'll refit them with fresh thread lock that's blue. This isn't blue, it's white. This is the thread lock from the factory. So clearly that casing's never been off since it left the factory. And that means it's never had clutch fluid since it left the factory and it's three years old. So it's definitely worth changing. And there's the proof that it's not been changed. Anyway, next thing, take this little casing off, pop a cloth over your exhaust and lift it out gently so you don't scratch it.
There we are, squeak all gone, and fresh fluid top to bottom. And that will perform better. It will be a nicer feeling clutch, especially in the hot weather when it starts to all expand in there. So really happy I did it myself because I saved all that money. You imagine that bill for the brakes on this that I've got in the history file, it's a 130 pound bill. 100 pounds of that is labor. 7 pounds 68 is the fluid, it's peanuts, and the rest is VAT. So it's a legitimate bill. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that's what it costs. You don't have to pay for it to be done though. It's a very simple job. Get yourself that syringe. I'll leave a link in the description and you can do this kind of work yourself and save an absolute fortune. So there we are, clutch fluid change on a Harley Street Glide. It's pretty much the same procedure on any motorcycle with a hydraulic clutch. So there we are. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, ride safe, and I'll see you next time.